bird scooters rolled into Bakersfield a few months ago, but have they flown the coop? I'm on the hunt for bird scooters to see if the transportation company has left Bakersfield. Good evening. Good to have you with us here for 17 News at 5. I'm Tammy Melchok. And I'm Jim Scott. Could Bakersfield soon be saying bye-bye bird? As of today, the official bird smartphone app shows just a handful of bird scooters are available out there to ride. We sent 17's Aton Wallace to look into whether Bird is gone for good. He joins us now live in downtown Bakersfield with the latest. Aton. Well, Jim, you may remember last December, Bird scooters just popped up overnight what appeared to be at random all over Bakersfield. Well, now according to the Bird Scooter app today, there appears to be less fewer than a dozen here in Bakersfield. In fact, this app telling me there should be some bird scooters right around me here in downtown around I and 19th Streets. Well, that is not the case, and that is leading many to wonder tonight whether bird scooters are gone from the Golden Empire for good. You've probably seen them around Bakersfield. Since December of last year, roughly 200 bird scooters have popped up all over the city. But this is what it looked like today on Bird's smartphone app. Only a handful of scooters throughout the city are available for use. Moreover, Bird's website does not list Bakersfield on its list of cities. And that led to questions about whether Bird could be leaving Bakersfield. If so, many are wondering what happens to the remaining scooters. We found the scooter near 19th and 8th Street and take a look. It's still working. I'm never walking again! When Bird first came to Bakersfield, we found people enjoying the scooters. It expands our, our lunch horizon so we can go a little bit farther for lunch and still get back on time. The biggest complaint we have here is parking. So if this can motivate or, you know, have people come and visit Tossed or some of the businesses here in downtown, we can look to benefit from it. Since the scooters first popped up, there have been reports that riders broke the rules, including the one requiring all riders to be in bike lanes. This man says he recalls one incident in which a rider ran into him on the sidewalk. I was downtown on California and Chester, and I basically got hit by one. They, people on them are careless. They don't pay attention. And that's why he hopes Bird's departure is for real. If it's true, to me it'd be a good thing because people nowadays can barely talk or, or walk in text. And let alone ride a damn scooter. It is important to mention that Bird came to Bakersfield under a one-year deal, the pilot program, under the agreement of that deal. Bird could leave whenever they want. Now, it appears that may have happened this time. We did reach out to the city manager's office. They referred us to Bird, so then we reached out to Bird for a statement, and they did not respond by news time. We are live in downtown Bakersfield. Aton Wallace, 17 News.